back to my channel if you're new here my name is Amai and we just like to do makeup and talk and chat and have a good time today I'm showing you guys how I get my press on nails I'm sorry for my TV on in the background um it drag race is on it's the first episode of the season and I realized I forgot to film an intro so I'm filming this right now I want to show you guys how I get my press on nails how cute they are how to get like where to get them from how to apply them because I always get compliments on my nails and I literally get a pack of 250 for like $13 so and going to get an unnecessary service like your nails during COVID time is not cute you got to spare these workers from being all up in your all up in your shit okay so I wanted to show you guys how to get this. My room is messy. Um, second video in a row where we're just being a hot mess. We're gonna be back on it with the next video, okay? But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I do my nails. I'm going to the new year looking fresh. And if things close down again, you'll still be popping at the fingertips. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in a second. All right, so first things first, we need some nails. If you go to Etsy, you can get some quality really cute nails these are on the more expensive end of things um they are custom they got the little gems the designs you usually get one set for like the average i'm seeing is like 25 30 dollars which is really good if you really like that design and you can't plan on reusing them but personally i like to switch up my nails a lot switch up the colors a lot i need to highlight these three real quick look at these three sets those are so cute but for me, I like to switch up my nails a lot. So I just went straight to Amazon and got a cheap little pack. Um, it says it came with 240 nails in the set. And it was $13 for all these different colors. Let me show y'all in one second. Look at all those colors that I got. Now, the quality of these nails on the little thingies that they come on, they feel super duper flimsy. But when I put them on my fingers, they feel like... Like, they're durable. They're not going to crack or break, but they do feel super flimsy on the thing. Next thing you need is a nail drill. I got mine from Amazon as well, but the one that I got isn't sold anymore. But they come with the nail file, the charger, the drill bits. This one was the closest one that I could find to the one that I purchased. Um, but I think I got it for around the same price, $20. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this drill and I'm going to drill the oil and the just the top layer of my nails off get it more rigid so that glue really like adheres to my nail i'm being super gentle with this i'm not going too rough as to like damage my nails because my nails are super thin anyway but i'm just going over them really really lightly at a decent speed not too fast but not slow enough so that it's not doing anything you know what i mean we're just getting that top layer of like oil and all that stuff off Sometimes I like to use alcohol to like further out the drying out process, but eh, I don't really need to. Now these are the two glues I usually use, regular super glue or Kiss nail glue, but I'm gonna be ghetto when I'm gonna use some regular super glue. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the nail to push my cuticle back and sort of lift it up just so that you can slide that nail right under the cuticle. Um, just be careful when you do that. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I feel like maybe you can like get an infection like that. I don't think so because I've been doing this literally since like middle school and I've been fine every single time. But I just say be careful if you don't want to like lift up the nail, like the cuticle to get the nail under it. You could just slide it right into place and it'll look almost exactly the same and I'm using my little glue and you notice I'm not doing them in order um, I just sort of pluck nails off of that little base that it's on and slide it right onto my nails and it's really important to get the right like measuring for the nails that you have so it's not too big sitting on your nail bed as to where it can get caught on something and like crack off and it's not too small so you can see your nail underneath and then it looks real raggedy and not cute at all getting these shots were really hard so hopefully like you guys can sort of see what i'm doing and this is where i'm talking about the measuring like you hold your finger up to the little form and choose the nail that fits perfectly for you and look at how cute now my pinky was kind of hard since I have like the world's smallest fingers. But like look at how nice that is. And they're a good length for me. I'm probably going to end up cutting them down just because I go like 
a day or two with long nails and I'm like I can't even function so I cut them down but look at how look at how nice that is ignore my prison tattoo but look at how cute that is oh. now we're gonna do the other hand and it's the same thing with this part right here you already see where I plucked off the ones on the other side so there's no need to really measure like the length of your the the size for your nails just pluck off the one that's on the other you know what I'm saying and then we get the glue and we just repeat the same process Once again, another prison tattoo. And I'm really sorry for these super jank shots. It was just kind of hard to get everything in the frame while doing my non-dominant hand. Keep my fingers getting stuck together. <laughs> the cuticles I can't even lie you some of these I definitely forgot to push my cuticles back but it doesn't make that big of a difference if anything I'll give you guys an update on to how like these nails are holding up I filmed this New Year's Eve night and then get our last little naily nail on there and look at how cute that is and literally it only took me 10 minutes it literally only took 10 minutes drilling and all like look at how beautiful that is and these are the final product now some people like to add gems and stuff on there I didn't um, but cause this is so cute right like oh how nice is that thank you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you next time bye